welcome everyone. I'd like to welcome everyone who's on Zoom. Thank you for being here. Um, welcome to 2021. We're gonna keep this brief. Um, my personal note to everyone here, we've gone through a lot this year. We've gone through a lot the last two years. March 13th, Friday the 13th, March 13th was the day that we decided that uh, we were all gonna go remote. And uh, we've been through a lot since then, ups, downs all around. Um, but the one thing that has persevered, the one thing that has come through at the end is you sitting in this seat. I said to one student last, last week that there was a, her name was on one of these seats. You just needed to come in and grab it. Every one of you came in and you got those seats. So clap it up, clap it up. So I'm proud of all of you. Um, I could talk about a lot of you forever. Um, I'm gonna pass it off. I'm gonna pass the microphone to the gentleman who started this all. Um, he started the school, brought us all together, brought this family together. All of this is here because Andrew Brown put together a team that works with the support of our, uh, with the support of our great leaders from our District 79. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, Principal Andrew Brown, principal of JSK High School. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, good morning, everybody. I realize we've been uh, remote. So for those of you who don't know, I'm Andrew Brown, I'm the principal. But uh, if the Parks Department comes looking for a permit, you don't know me. So um, I have to start with some very important thank yous. And I'd like for you all to get a good look at this team that's over here to my right, because they don't get enough credit for the work that they've done to put us all where we are today. So I'll start with Tim Lasanti, our executive superintendent, the godfather of alternative education. Um, this was his vision. This was his vision. And he's the reason why we're here. I want to thank Bob Zweig, who's our superintendent, another visionary and uh, architect of alternative ed who is so supportive of us, gives us everything that we need. Thank you, Bob Zweig. I wanna thank Nick Marinacci, uh, who worked along right alongside me in everything we did in planning this school and has been with us every step of the way. I wanna thank Jackie Jones, who's relatively new to our district, but has, a, has an immediate impact. Uh, we love her. I wanna thank you at Chu, who also has been with us from the very beginning. Thank you for all that you do. I wanna thank Corey Prober. Um, Mr. Prober is the principal of Co-op Tech. I wanna thank, uh, thanks for the music on that one. Um, uh, Co-op Tech, uh, Corey, first of all, ha has a vision for his school and for his students and all of our students have been a part of Co-op Tech. Uh, he has always been on our side and I appreciate you as a, as a leader and as a friend. I wanna thank Camba and Allison Haberly. I wanna thank Manhattan Youth, Bob Townley and, and Michael Liao. I wanna thank Mr. Harold Butler for being the, the heart behind the operation. I wanna thank Sarah Brown, who's the brains behind the operation. I wanna thank Joe Van Rattray from Camba, who uh, could not be a stronger partner and a fighter for young people. I wanna thank Jeffrey John from Manhattan Youth who the same, anything we need, he is here for us. I wanna thank our distinguished guest, Mr. George Van Ampson. I got all the whole name. I just wanna point that out. Um, yeah. Uh, I also, um, before I close this out, I just wanna thank the graduation committee, um, uh, Liga Bay, John Forstein, Olinda Marin. They turned this park from nothing into this. So thank you so much to them. And then I wanna thank um, the best staff in, in the Department of Education and maybe in all of schools, the staff of JSK, you are amazing people. So <clears throat> today we're gonna to start looking at the future again. We've been under this cloud and we're all wearing masks. That's a reminder of what we've been through over the last 16 months. Throughout this time, we found ways to communicate through the noise, to comfort each, comfort each other as we withstood losses and navigated through unrest. We found new ways to learn and to grow and it was not easy. This class of graduates, 2021, you adjusted, you adapted and you overcame. You have modeled success under some of the most difficult conditions. Two years ago, we didn't know that these conditions existed 
and you all have modeled success. We are so proud of you. So I, I'd like to take a quick second and just talk about when we were designing this school and any, everybody over here can attest to this. In 2016, we went down to central administration downtown and we told them uh, what our model was, who we wanted to serve and what we wanted to offer. And they looked at us like we were crazy. Somebody actually told us, you can start a school like that, but in three years, the state is gonna shut you down. So in our fourth year, this past winter, when they crunched all the numbers, they found that JSK, you folks have the highest six year graduation rate in the city of New York. Look at us now. Now I have to admit, we built a pretty special place. We surrounded you with the best possible teachers the best possible counselors and support staff. We enrolled you in the premier career and technical program in New York City. But you, my young friends, you are the ones who achieved this feat. We may have drawn the blueprint, but you built the city. We may have given you paint, but you created the masterpiece. We coached from the sidelines, but you won the Super Bowl. We are so proud of you. Nobody can ever tell you that you can't because you have, you have already achieved against the odds. When they said that we couldn't do this, you did it. So anywhere you go, after you leave today, after you leave JSK and you represent JSK, you weren't competitive with the best, you are the best. Let that sink in. Now we've all heard and we've seen the shirts and we've heard people say, self-made, right? Nobody is self-made in actuality. Somebody has helped you. So I'm gonna ask all my graduates right now, you stand up, you find somebody in the audience, a teacher, a family member, somebody who has helped you. Stand up, stand up, find somebody. You make eye contact, you say thank you, and you give them a round of applause. Families, support, support, support networks, everybody sitting back there, we appreciate you. We love you. Graduates, don't wait till it's too late to say thank you and that I love you. Amen. Amen. So there's a couple of things that I want to share with you. I'm going to keep this brief, but a couple of things that I think that you need to remember as you go out into the world and you represent JSK. First, you are entering adulthood in a very, very difficult climate. This is a very tough time. Racism, discrimination, poverty, violence. Solutions to these problems are not easy. Anybody who tells you they have a quick fix, they're probably lying to you. Although I don't have any of these solutions, there's one thing that I know for sure. Those who make conversation impossible make escalation inevitable. Those who make conversation impossible make escalation inevitable. If you are willing to listen, to read, to collaborate, to educate yourself, then you're taking the steps necessary to create solutions. If a conversation is difficult to have, it's probably the right conversation to have. There is such thing as right and wrong, but the hardest thing is navigating all the gray area. The other thing I want to tell you is you need to watch the company that you keep. The people that you have in your life should be cheerleaders for your success with no negotiation. That is a non-negotiable. It can be really hard to manage friendships and, have the, and, and the people that surround you, but keep people around you who are safe, even though they can be kind of boring. <laughs> also, just side note, it's going to be a hot summer. So I really mean that you stay around people who keep you safe. Another thing, keep people around you that you can learn from. If you're the smartest person in the room, good chance you're in the wrong room. Ask questions, learn, keep smart people around you. The other thing, 
We can't become what we need to be by remaining what we are. Don't be afraid to change. Don't be afraid to take steps to make yourself better. Stay critical of yourself and push yourself to do better every single day. Something that life has taught me, when you are in doubt, just take the next small step. It's not easy. It's not easy out here. When, it's, when it seems like it's too much and one day at a time is too much, take it one minute by time, but one minute at a time. When you are in doubt, just take the next small step. So I'm gonna leave you with this. The more you learn, the larger the ability you have to dream and dream big because the people who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are usually the ones that do. Thank you. And I would like to introduce uh, next my partner, Mr. Corey Prober. Thank you. Good. Good morning. How's everyone doing? So I know we've been coming off a of remote and I'm, <clears throat> I'm Corey Prober, the principal at Co-op Tech. And if the parks department does come, you do not know me either. So congratulations to the class of 2021. This is just a beautiful day. What a beautiful day to celebrate a wonderful accomplishment. Congratulations to you all and congratulations to your parents and families that have helped you all along the way. I'm always so inspired to see how all of your efforts, both individually and collectively, have brought you to this very special moment in your life. As educators, we know how hard it is to accomplish these important milestones. And so important for me to acknowledge Principal Brown, who really has been such a fearless leader for all of you and, and in this collaboration. Principal Brown, AP Butler, <clears throat> System Principal Sarah, your teachers, counselors, and the entire JSK team that work just tirelessly for you day in and day out. I see it behind the scenes, I see it in front, and there's not a day that doesn't go by where they're working for you collectively and also individually. So it's, it really is a testament to the work. Um, on behalf of Co-op Tech, <clears throat> my assistant principals, Mr. Rulin and Mr. Crow in this building and in Queens, and our entire staff, it gives me great pleasure to be able to share this moment with you all. The collaboration between Co-op Tech and JSK has only been around a few short years, but has re-energized, and I'll say it again, re-energized the importance of blending academics with career and technical education to support all students towards graduation. All students, right? And that's, that's what's sitting in front of us. You guys are all of our students, and I see so many familiar faces and some students I'd never met and it's just really just such an honor to be here. This collaboration <clears throat> happens with intentionality, with planning, with setting high, expe high expectations, with refining plans, with reflecting, with setting goals, with meeting deadlines, with making mistakes, learning from those mistakes, always moving forward and working together as a team. Again, working together as a team. That's the key to success. A team of people <clears throat> that are willing to do the work to get you here, to get it done. No excuses. There's just no excuses. Do the work. You all did the work and we commend you for that. So graduates, <clears throat> you have all done the work. You are the most important part of that team. You've all made intentional plans. You have all set high expectations and goals for yourself. You have all reflected and made adjustments. You have all made mistakes and you have all overcome those mistakes and adversities that you've made. You are all moving forward and you did it. You are graduates. A day does not go by <clears throat> where I'm not in awe of the teamwork I see in classes between you, our staff, throughout all of our programs. A day doesn't go by, I see it every single day a strong spirit of working together to accomplish goals and overcome challenges. So graduates, keep your expectations high, set them high, never settle, <clears throat> never settle. Always push forward. Principal Brown just said it, always push forward. 
Be humble. It's important. Be humble. Be a team player and just be yourself. So again, on behalf of the entire Co-op Tech School community, congratulations to the class of 2021. We are all really so very proud of you. Congratulations. And I was just reminded that I am actually going to give a really awesome award out. So. Well, this is an actual real honor for me. <clears throat> so co-op tech is, as you know, a career and technical education program, and we serve students post-graduation. So, um, it's really, it's really wonderful and very special when we see graduates of JSK who actually stay with us. So I'm actually in a really nice position here to be able to give an, a, a given an award, an alumni in action award to a student who is a, a JSK graduate and actually a co-op tech student who has just done incredible work. So it's my honor to call up uh, Raymond Bishop. <laughs> And Ray is, Raymond is someone who, you'll never meet somebody more humble. So congratulations, Raymond. We appreciate all your work. Congratulations, Raymond. Thank you, Mr. Prober. Um, the partnership that we have with Co-op Tech is real and uh, it's flourishing. So we thank you for that and appreciate it. Um, next up, I'd like to introduce our executive superintendent, um, Mr. Tim Lasanti, Dr. Tim Lasanti, excuse me, a man who I admire. Again, congratulations to the graduates and congratulations to the families. Uh, and thank you for your successes because your successes are building future successes. I'm proud to announce today that we're going to open up Judith SK in the Bronx. We've already opened in Queens. And the reason is because of your successes, the students here, these graduates here. And I just want to share with you one quick story about Judith SK, who was a remarkable woman. She was the first uh, Chief Justice in the state of New York, first woman Chief Justice in the state of New York. And she uh, retired when she became uh, uh, of age. And she dedicated her life at that time of keeping kids in school and out of court. And um, she had a commission and we were part of that commission. And we talked, we went around the state to talk about what we're doing in New York City. And when she passed away, they asked us to open a school in her name. And we, we uh, again, one of the best moves we made was uh, having uh, Andrew Brown as the principal. I wanted to thank uh, Andrew. <laughs> And then Andrew hired uh, Harold and Kamba and all the outstanding faculty members. This is a great, great um, uh, partnership and, and a great school that we love with Co-op Tech. And again, the vision was pretty simple, right? Let's have a school that has both high school equivalency, high school diploma and CTE all combined. And, but it wasn't easy to get off the ground. And I really wanted to thank Nick Marinacci uh, So when the chancellor asked us to open the school, I, I came out of the building by City Hall. I sat down and I said, the chancellor said we should open a school. This is what we should do. Bang, bang, bang. And I gave it to Nick and then Andrew and everybody else. So again, uh, we're so happy that this was a success. And Principal Brown is exactly right. They said to us, this should not be a school. It should be a program. You'll be closed down your first graduation rate. And I, I'm just so happy. Thank you, Dr. Losanti. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, I'd like to introduce our valedictorian. Um, this is an individual with a huge heart, um, with a huge mind, and, and full of promise. Um, I'd like to introduce our 2021 uh, valedictorian at JSK High School, um, Zaltz and Mozo.
Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, actually, I'm going to keep my glasses off. All of your pretty faces are going to make me really nervous. So, um, OK. I want to start off with the pledge that came to mind as I was preparing to write the speech. Please feel free to say it along with me if you recognize it. We pledge to be undeterred, resourceful, consistent, relentless in the pursuit and completion of our goal. This pledge is no other than the Judith S.K. Pledge. Undeterred, resourceful, consistent, and relentless is what we had to be this year more than ever. <laughs> While I know most of us would like nothing else but to forget the tragedies and heartbreaks and loss of this year's pandemic, we must also remember not only to appreciate but celebrate the loved ones that are in these seats with us right now. Human life is one of the greatest gifts one can possibly experience. To forget to celebrate it would be an offense to the lives lost this year. Let us keep them in our hearts as we celebrate today's victory for all the 2021 graduates. As a lot of us graduates walked into the building probably feeling lost, confused, and behind. Until then, many of us were probably met only with neglect and the feeling of only being a number in a system, or perhaps personal circumstances that led us off wandering the road to being high school graduates. But we were undeterred, even in the midst of a pandemic, which caused us to shift from a reality we were so accustomed to, to a whole new and uncertain reality yet you are still here. <laughs> we are still here in our caps and gowns. Whatever path brought you here, know that this should be one of your greatest accomplishments. We stayed consistent. We stayed consistent and relentless in the pursuit of our goals. So regardless when we thought our initial finish line should have been, at the end of the day, we made it. I hope I don't speak out of turn when I say we graduates couldn't have done it without the wonderful staff at JSK. Staff, if I can be quite honest, doesn't feel like the right word. These wonderful humans, we are lucky enough to call it teachers, counselors, became our family here at JSK. From AB and Mr. Butler in the hallways, always asking us what class we were supposed to be in, to getting distracted and talking to us about daily life. Well, mainly Ms. Mr. Butler was getting distracted, not so much AB, <laughs> but... <laughs> Um, and the counselor's office, the safe space for us to take a breather in our day and chat with wonderful humans, and campus office, bothering the team so hopefully they wouldn't know that we were in, in class and that would last about five minutes and then we were shooed back into class. <laughs> and then of course, all of the teachers, you guys had to deal with us at our worst and our best. It wasn't like the campus office or the counselor's office where we went to chill for a few minutes. You had the privilege <laughs> of seeing us tired, aggy, and confused. I thank you for your patience and resilience for that. Thank you for being educators we weren't able to have until we got to JSK. Thank you for Mr. AB and Mr. Butler for creating an environment for those who had felt forgotten in our own institutions and everyone else I just got to meet today. Um, we, you guys were able to reinforce something that we already knew but may have forgotten about ourselves along the way, that we are worth it and we are capable. I want all of us to remember how far we've come to get the diploma and how far we will continue to go because of the skills we've developed. We learned the importance of advocating for ourselves because we had mentors who taught us that we were worth advocating for. JSK gave us the opportunity to work alongside Co-op Tech to give us skills that would not only allow us to thrive in an academic institution, but also outside of it. JSK will continue to be our safe haven even after we leave today. I say that was with all the confidence in the world that we are welcome back here even after we leave to, with our diplomas at hand because of how much our, our teachers and social workers have access to keep in touch. Remember, this is your retreat when the world gets a little too hard or you slip up and you forget how capable you really are. Mr. Butler will sure to be here to give you a very loud but motivating pep talk. <laughs> um, allow me to be fully transparent for a moment. Uh, writing this speech was a little bit more challenging than I expected because how could I possibly be asked to meet the sun and then explain its passion and its warmth to you? How is it? How is someone expected to put into words how truly remarkable this community is? I have met so funny, so many funny and caring souls at JSK and, and I will carry our interactions with me as I head to Mills, California in Oakland, Mills College in Oakland, California. Oh. 
I want to emphasize one more time that you should be extra loud and unyielding today. We all deserve to be recognized and celebrated for this wonderful feat. Allow me to tell you how proud I am to be part of the graduating class sitting here in these chairs and the ones in Zoom. How proud I am to be part of the JSK family for not only pledging, but being undeterred, resourceful, consistent, and relentless in the pursuit and completion of our goal. Thank you. <laughs> I, I told a couple of students that I'd be a hot mess. I, I had a lot of nerve, came up here without a tissue. Um, Zelson, uh, beautiful speech um, and, and uh, beautiful speech. Um, next up, I would like to introduce our superintendent, Mr. Bob Zweig. Thank you, thank you. Um, Zelton, I have to tell you, I've, I've heard a lot of valedictorian speeches. That's gotta be the best that I have heard. And the reason I say that is because many, and, and understandably, talk about themselves. You did that at the end. What you did was you talked about everyone else. And that, to me, exemplifies and personifies what we all up here tried to do. We're not always successful. You were just very successful. So thank you. Thank you and best of luck to you. Um, so I wasn't as involved as Tim and Nick and Andrew with, with the founding of this school. But I must tell you, I was at that meeting in 2016 when we were told that this school would close after three years. The thing that everyone else left out was that was election day 2016, the day that Donald Trump got elected. This school has outlasted Donald Trump. And will continue to outlast Donald Trump. Um, the other thing I just want to say is before we parted ways, Nick Marinacci, who I thought knew people who knew people, told me the election was in the bag. And I never forgot he was wrong. Um, it was in the wrong bag, but um, we got over it, I hope. So I'm not supposed to make my political views known, but I just did. Uh, what the hell, I got the, the microphone. Um, anyway, you know, I'm not gonna say a lot. Life's complicated and it's gonna keep being complicated, but the simplicity is in caring for other people. And as long as our heart takes the lead, then we kind of simplify the complications. And so again, it's something we try to stand for as a district. We ask you to just think about that small step at a time as Mr. Butler said, and always lead with your heart. My final, always learn. We never get, it's never too late to learn. I'm gonna share something very personal. Um, Dr. Lasanti spoke a little while ago and he said, we're gonna open Judith SK in the Bronx. We, the leaders of this district all learned that for the first time when he said it. And so we will learn, we will adapt, and you damn right, we will do it. Thank you all, God bless you, best of luck. He's not lying about that. Uh, I'd like to uh, ask uh, uh, Jovan Ratre to uh, present this next award with me. Okay, if you don't give Joe a round. Sorry, not so. Sorry about that. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. The JSK community suffered a tremendous loss on November 3rd, 2020. Jaquan Xavier Coppage was a loving, respectful, family-oriented, dedicated, intelligent, and resilient young man. He was beloved and a well-known figure in his community. He was confident, courageous, and compassionate. This morning, Jaquan's family is here with us. 
I would like to take a moment just to acknowledge them. and Just ask the family to stand. And I feel led to do this. So I'll also ask everyone else to stand as we observe a brief moment of silence in memory of Jacob. Thank you. You may be seated. This afternoon, we honor Jay Kwan's contribution to the JSK community by creating the first Jay Kwan Xavier Coppage Award in his memory. The award will be given annually to one member of the JSK graduating class. Each year, the recipient's name will be added to a plaque that we will place somewhere in our school building. In addition to that, the recipient of the Jaquan Coppage Award will receive a very special gift. So, we remember, Joe and I remember um, when Jake, um, when Jake Wong came in, came into the building and we had our, we were in 108 and we had our, our moment of intake and we were having students go through Summer Bridge. And um, we remember Jake Wong sitting in the seat, leaning back, listening to everything we had to say, looking at us and we were looking at him like, you gonna give us some trouble? He's like, no, sir, but you know. <laughs> And um, giving us that look like, you know, I'm going to make you earn your paycheck, <laughs> but it's going to be a good ride. It's going to be a good ride. And I have, I have no doubt at all that had he been with us today, he'd be with us today. Um, and I mean that. We looked forward to, Joe and I talked about how we looked forward to seeing this gentleman cross the stage. Um, and it was going to be a ride that we were happy to take on. So this award is for demonstrating leadership, carrying one's community, is for persevering through tremendous challenges and continuing to persevere and to pursue education and regardless of the circumstances, bringing warmth and joy, love to the JSK community and leaving a mark on everyone you come in contact with. So I have the pleasure of of uh, presenting this award to a gentleman who I feel like has risen to the challenges, has um, done what he needed to do and done it in spectacular fashion. Um, I'd like to give this award to Jeremiah Alicia. It's a proud moment. It's a proud moment, um, and we wish him, we wish uh, Jake Juan um, peace in in the afterlife. So, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our uh, deputy superintendent, Mr. Nick Marinacci. That's a tough. That's a tough act to come back. <laughs> Just want to say a special thank you to Jaquan's family and what an honor, what an honor, um, what an honor to win the award. So congratulations to you. Um, man, this is the best graduation that we have in District 79. I'm going to say that. I'm not supposed to say it, 
but I'm going to say it. And I love JSK. I love this school. Uh, I think it is the best school in the New York City. And I am ready to open JSK in the Bronx. Can't wait. Can't wait. In graduation speeches, a lot of people give quotes. You know, they quote philosophers, they quote historians, they quote entertainers. They try to give you advice uh, through the words of wisdom of the past. So I have some quotes from some incredible, incredibly important people who aren't famous yet. Counselors sat down with me, read my transcript and made a plan for what I need to graduate. My teachers make sure I am on track with everything. My teachers and counselors give me options about my courses. They ask me what I like to do. JSK is very special. I came from another school without the same support I have now. I never saw progress in my other school. Now I'm on track to graduate. JSK is very special to me. It's not like any other high school. They care even more about what you were doing after JSK. JSK is small and they focus on each individual student. I went to a really big high school before. I never felt like I got the attention I needed. JSK introduced me to work. I got two internships in the arts and that led me to a scholarship to college. They make me feel like I'm at home. This school is special to me. They tell us, yes, I can, not no, you can't. These quotes are all from people who are sitting right here in the audience. My partner, Jackie, and I, Deputy Superintendent Jackie Jones and I got to speak to a group of JSK students earlier in this year. And when we asked them about the school and they didn't know what we were gonna ask them, and they said all of these great things. You're all in a special place. You're all really special people. You did a lot to earn this diploma. To echo Mr. Brown, just keep moving forward. It's a tough world out there. You're the ones who are gonna make it better for all of us. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for your families. And thank you to the JFK staff, JSK staff, the best school, the best high school, Mr. Brown, in New York City. Congratulations to all of you. Good morning. Our next speaker is a truly incredible young man. Like all of our graduates, he has worked hard, persevered through adversity, and has made the best of what could only be considered an unexpected and strange high school career. He is kind, compassionate, and resilient. His positivity is infectious. He makes the best of any and every situation. He is an exemplary student, a role model, and he embodies what it means to be a JSK student. It is my esteemed pleasure to welcome today JSK's class of 2021 salutatorian, Jamin Franklin. Thank you. And I appreciate y'all. Um, good morning, y'all. I know don't nobody want to hear me speak for three hours, so I'm going to make this short. Um, I ain't gonna lie, when I got the news I'll be speaking today, I was nervous, but not really because I'm me. <laughs> um, so this is where I'll get to the point. I never really enjoyed school, so I will always do like the bare minimum just so I can pass, get it out the way, keep going. But that went out the window, ninth grade year. I just the work changed. I couldn't get the gist of it, so I just stopped doing it. I didn't really care until one of my old teachers. She pulled me up to my for y'all. She pulled me to the hallway, and she told me, and I quote: "If I kept going the way I was going, I wouldn't be anything special in life, and I'd be lucky to live the life of an average person." And I didn't like how that felt. So, following year, last year, I transferred to JSK with nine credits. Did what I had to do, and here I am today. So with that being said, I want to wrap this up, say thank you to all the JSK staff. I wouldn't be here without y'all. And congratulations to the graduates of 2020 and 2021. Um, and lastly, and lastly, 
I want to say congratulations to the parents and the crowd because y'all raised some young kings and queens that's going to excel in life. Nice job, everyone. Nice job. Nice job. You're welcome. I hear you back there. I hear you. Um, next up, I would like to uh, introduce um, one of our other deputy superintendents, Ms. Uh, Jackie Jones. Good afternoon. This allowed me the opportunity to say thank you so much to Principal Brown, AP Sarah Brown, and AP Harold Butler for the opportunity to participate and to be able to be here in this very historic and amazing moment. But it's allowed me just to share for just a second that as I've listened to many of the speeches, I've heard the word resilient spoken several times. I began my career here at District 79 during the pandemic. And I've had the opportunity to redefine that word resilient and what it means. So I sit back and I take a look in the dictionary and it says to me, resilient means to bounce back after a challenge. But when I now look in the dictionary and I look up the word resilient, I see the many faces that I see in front of me right now. That is what I define as resilient. To all of the families that are sitting here today and those who are watching today on Zoom, you define what it means to be resilient. To all of the staff at JSK and I'm Glad to agree with my colleague and friend, Deputy Superintendent Nick, that this is the best graduation ever. That to the staff, you are resilient. Allow me to share to your administrators here. They define resilient. But allow me once again to share that as I look at all of you, and as I was sitting there, I saw tears, I saw smiles, I saw giggles, I saw laughter, but I also saw your eyes. And that to me defines resilience. As a country, as a state, as a city, as a district, and as a school, we have come out of a challenge. But you sitting here today define the word resilient. So I just want to encourage you to keep on climbing, keep on swimming, keep on walking, keep on launching, keep on flying, keep on soaring, keep on moving. And no, what, no matter what challenge you may face, you have already defined what it means to bounce back from every challenge because all of you here today have put a new definition in the dictionary. You are resilient. Thank you so much. Thank you, Deputy Superintendent Jones. I'd like to um, introduce our most esteemed member of our staff, um, one who needs no introduction, and I have to give it anyway, Dr. Lee Gabay. <laughs> Don't get up. <laughs> I know the principal. Whoa. 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 Mercy, I don't, I don't <laughs> fell off the stage, people. I'm so excited. I meant to say don't fall off the stage. My apologies. <laughs> I know the principals are concerned about the parks department coming in. I'm a little bit more concerned about the fashion police coming here for Mr. Schieffer. <laughs> Today's keynote speaker, George Van Ampson, is a graduate, like you guys will be in about 10 minutes, of the New York City public school system. Mr. Van Ampson uh, was a scholar athlete at Brooklyn Tech, 
Then he went on to earn his BA in Columbia in economics, which he was the class president. Continuing on, he got his MBA from Harvard, which where he was the African-American student union president. And he began his fin career in finance, but working in both the domestic and international markets. And his amazing skills took him to the top of his field. In fact, Black Enterprise Magazine voted him top African-Americans on Wall Street several years in a row. Mr. Van Anson's accolades and accomplishments are far too long to read, but if you like, Butler might read them for you after because he enjoys that. <laughs> but I did want to highlight that throughout Mr. Van Anson's career, he has been active in business and community. He's a true advocate for economic justice. He is currently on the board of directors of the Riverside Church Council, vice chairman on the board of Amsterdam Nursing Home, chairman of the United Negro College, Co College Fund uh, Wall Street Campaign, and directors, uh, board of directors of the Metropolitan Opera. He's just so impressive that his words fumble out of my mouth. His love of music, in fact, brought him here today. It was on a, a, a conversation with the greatest violinist in the world, Itzhak Perlman. Mr. Van Anson was moderating a conversation with him and you handled it beautifully. It was smart because there's a lot of technical problems and to tell the greatest violinist in the world to deal with your audio issues is a little, little, little daunting. And I, I was very impressed by that. In addition to being a classical music aficionado and building wealth, George Van Ansem, Ans, Hansom, and Ansem, uh, promotes health as he is a third degree black belt in judo. Nice to meet you. <laughs> GVA's union of mind body has made our community safer, kinder, smarter, more artistic, more beautiful and fiscally independent. And his work aligns with our school's mission of trade, academics, and wealth management. And when invited to speak today, Mr. Van Ampson felt a really deep personal connection with each and every one of you graduates, but he also has a very specific affiliation with the school, Judith SK, and which he's gonna share with you. So with that said, let's give a warm JSK welcome to this year's keynote commencement speaker, George Van Ampson. You good? You good? Uh, Dr. Gabay, thank you for your generous introduction. And quite frankly, for this exciting opportunity to participate in commencement day at Judith SK High School. I am honored to share this signal time of achievement for JSK graduating class of 2021. Principal Andrew Brown, assistant principals Harold Butler, Sarah Brown, faculty, administrators, staff, alums, honored guests, awardees, valedictorians Elton Moza, salutatorian Jaheem Franklin, Yamin, Jamin Franklin, and graduates. Quite frankly, um, for me, any words are simply burdened by the praise I have for you. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2021 and let this day crystallize the dedication to your work and perseverance in the face of a global pandemic, expansive social and racial unrest, and four years of recalcitrant absent national leadership. You have come through this stage whole. While you bask in the glory of your sweet and hard earned recognition, take a moment to offer robust gratitude to your family and loved ones who in propinquity supported you and whose continued love and support is critical for your future. 
And while you're at it, give yourselves a big hug, prop, and respect for your accomplishment. Your continued belief in yourself and your abilities will carry you forward. Interestingly, it is truly kismet that we are here together at JSK for I knew Judge K. We served together as trustees for more than a decade at Barnard College and Columbia University from 1996 to 2008. And I can tell you this, Judge K was a champion of education and a beacon for equality. Your success honors her legacy. By my observation and evidenced by your presence here today, I am fully convinced without hesitation or mental reservation, whatever, that you can do almost anything that poses a question. So what's next for you? Work, college, both? Will you be a soldier, salesperson, scientist, singer? Whatever you choose to do, whatever path you take, whatever goals and aspirations you cleave to, you will need three Ps. Let me tell you what the three Ps are. The first P is passion. It is indeed rare that anyone anywhere achieves anything of value in any worthwhile endeavor without passion, without passion for that pursuit. President Barack Obama, Vice President Kamala Harris, prima ballerina Misty Copeland, actor impresario Lin-Manuel Miranda, megastar Beyonce Knowles, Basketball great, LeBron James, each embody passion for their enterprise. Be passionate. Preparation. The late Black American tennis great Arthur Ashe. If you don't know who Arthur Ashe is, write it down, Google it, go to your internets and learn who this man was. Arthur Ashe is quoted as saying, a key to success is self-confidence. And the important key to self-confidence is preparation. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. And it is often said, fate favors the prepared. So like the old scouting motto, be prepared. Personality. As you go forward, always moving in the positive, understand that companies don't hire resumes. Schools don't admit transcripts and voters don't elect ideas. And while your resume should be well prepared, reflecting your passions, and your transcript, excellent, and your ideas, forward thinking, companies, schools, voters, hire, admit, and elect people, connect, and win hearts and minds by being your authentic self. And so be you, whoever that is. Take these three Ps with you, put them in your purse or pocket and use them regularly as each of you pursue your goals and aspirations. At this time, I am keenly aware that I stand between you <laughs> and your diploma, as well as a party. So in closing, I leave you with a Victorian poem by William Ernest Henley that crystallizes for me what you 
all have now accomplished and what more you will accomplish in the future. Some of you may know this poem. Invictus, out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. Matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Hanson. I'd like to introduce, uh, to bring back up to the microphone, uh, Andrew Brown and Jovan Rattray. Passion, preparation, and personality. Thank you so much. So I'd just like to ask Zeltson to come here, join us, and Jam 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 I mean. Jamin. And Jamin, please step forward, our valedictorian and salutatorian. Let's give them a loud round of applause Woo! and clap. On behalf of CAMBA, which is the nonprofit organization that partners with JSK and the rest of the JSK community, we got you guys something really cool. Anybody have an idea what it is? Uh, they're in book bags, they're in book bags. We didn't get them book bags. There's something inside the book bag. So I'm just gonna pass this on to both of you and just ask you to open it. Can we get a drum roll? Jamin said, oh no, nah. oh no. Nah. Hold it up, Jamin. Tools for you both to take into college and beyond. Congratulations. You want us to hold them up here for that? Okay. At this point, we are ready. We are ready. Hear the music? We get excited. It is time for you to get your diplomas. It's time for you to get to the end of the road. First up is Rhea Abney. <laughs> Jeremiah Alicia. Martin Alvarez. Ruben Acosta. Melanie Astadio. Andre Avalar in absentia. Navendra Balassi. Alex Balcaran. William Barreto. Princess Blair. 
Justin Brathwaite in absentia. Armand Buckley. Shadina Brown. Shadina Brown. Justin Burgess. Maker Cabral. Jessen Calderon in absentia. Rose Carriott. Jamie Castellar. Luis Cojeto Aviles in absentia. Skylar Contreras. Shayla Cortez Reyes. Princess De Jesus. Luis Delgado in absentia. Jeff Desnoyes. India Davis. Carla Diaz. Yari Disla. Dominic Dumont. Javon Duncan. Christopher Edwards in absentia. Kyle Edwards. Leonela Esperitu. Eve Estebanes. Jada Lee Franco Pacheco. Jamine Franklin. Angelica Frias in absentia. Alicia G Alicia Jeter. Khalil Green. Zachary Guzman in absentia. Tayshawn Harris. Chadwick. CJ Henry Nazir Holmes in absentia Briano Lazado in absentia Genesis Marrera Brittany McLeod Vashon McKessie. Ataniel Medina. Cassandra Molina in absentia. Diego Morales. Zelson Mozo. Kaya Nayabingi. Daquan Owens. Jared Pagan. Wainik Peavy. Rickensley Pierre. Irvana Powell. Yeah, Quessy Prophet, <laughs> Kenneth Reyes, 
Fabian Rivera in absentia. Skylin Rodriguez. Jessica Rodriguez in absentia. Pavel Rosario. Nandita Sipal. Amanda Smith. Zaire Spriggs in absentia. Lucas Tejada. Anjali Tejada. Amir Telfair in absentia. Anthony Vargas in absentia. Stephanie Valentin. Jaheem Walcott. Neville Waters. Star Wilson. Kevin Medina. Josiah Cobbs. Shamari Robinson. Congratulations. Let's just give a round of applause to all of our 2021 graduates. All right, graduates, please stand up. Move your tassels to the other side. You're graduates of the JSK High School.